Now let's review your timesheet. Timesheets are automatically created for you once the notes have been signed and approved. Clicking on timesheets will show you your current pay period and any of your signed and approved notes. These automatically get placed on the timesheet as soon as the note is approved. You can review the time by looking at each individual day and the total hours, or by expanding to see all of the notes that equal the total hours for the day. In this case, there is only one note per day. The very bottom will total all hours for that pay period. In the event that you don't see all of your hours here, go back to your notes and review the pay period. You can look for all unsigned and unapproved notes. In this case, there are none, or you may look for signed and unapproved notes. You may also go back to the schedule to see if there are any shifts in which you have not yet created the note. Once you have clicked on your timesheet, reviewed all of your hours are there, you may either sign off on the timesheet or add any non-billable time. Click Add Time Record to see the pay types in which you are eligible to enter non-billable time for. Select the pay type, enter your date, Enter in the number of units and use the comment field for additional information. When saving it, any validations will be presented. Be sure to review the messages and override accordingly. Some validations may not allow you to override. In that case, contact your supervisor. Once the combination of billable and non-billable time is represented on your timesheet, your totals are accurate. The last step is to sign. You must sign your timesheet by the payroll deadline in order to receive your paycheck. Use the same password that you use to enter the system to sign. These are now the hours that you will see on your next paycheck. All paychecks can be accessed from the dashboard. Should you have any questions, contact support by going to Options, Support, Contact Support.